this is the frame for the tipping body of another conversion and this is an Ixo for Thames like my uh, well, like one of the first uh, lorries I did the red lorry the red Ford Thames uh, and I'm doing another one as a tipper and I fabricated uh, the frame for a load bed for uh, this conversion. This is all silver soldiers out of brass. Uh, you can see at the back end we have the pivots for uh, which mate up with the rear of the chassis members and that will enable this frame to pivot and rise up. Also attached to this is of course the hinge tailgate like that. But what's of particular interest on this is the tailgate latches. Now these latches are uh, very small, they're only about 5mm high and they are automatic and they are silver soldered to a piece of 8mm wire and mounted in uh, between two tubes and you can just see they operate to clamp the tailgate shut. Um, they're actually fairly simple to make if you can cut out and carve small shapes like this. What you see is what you get. The one furthest away from the camera has a second hole in it through which is poked a length of 0.4mm nickel silver wire. And if we look on this... Hmm, I don't know that one. Thank you, Alexa. Do shut up. Um, and whether it's possible to see on, on this side. Um, there, there's a piece of wire passing through this clamp. And uh, this wire goes through the back member, runs forward, and is attached to this bell crank. Very simple bell crank. And if you imagine this whole frame pivoted, when the frame drops down to meet the chassis, there will be a striker plate and as this bell crank hits the striker plate, it rotates and pulls the wire, which in turn pulls the clamps up and locks the tailgate shut. And when it rises, the opposite happens. The bell crank drops and the clamps drop free. The mechanism is as simple as that. And it's a nice, reliable little locking mechanism for a smaller scale tipping lorries. What you see is what you get.